Hi, we're Gentlemen of Whiskey. This Hello. is Nate. I'm John. This is Brandon. And today we're going to get toasted. Woo! Oh, baby. Alright, so today we are tasting four toasteds to find the king of the toasted, or, you know, the toasted-dist. The toasted king. The toast toasted. daddy. Yeah. Uh, so we've got Elijah Craig, Toasted Barrel, 94 proof, Elijah Craig product. Not sure how long it is finished. We've got Blue Note Crossroads, which is a new pickup that I grabbed in Tennessee, and I... Uh, did a first impressions video that gave it a six. We'll see if that stands up here, if it scores better, worse, whatever. Uh, Nulu Toasted. This is a Justin's House of Bourbon pick. Comes in at 116 proof. And then a Penelope Four Grain Toasted. Now, uh, Brandon actually did a uh, first impressions of this. He gave it a seven and a half. We'll see if that holds up. Wow. And we'll see what we score it. So we're just going to go through these. We're going to pour them, taste them, and we're going to keep going. Um, you want to pour? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, uh, we went over in a previous video what is finished whiskey. These are all finished in toasted barrels. There was a time, too, when I got toasted and double oaked mixed up. There was a time that you got toasted. There's many times that I got uh, toasted. In about three minutes, it's going to be one of those times. Multiple times <laughs> that I have gotten toasted. Elijah Craig toasted. Elijah Craig toasted. Cheers. Okay, we're going to thank him. Okay. And I'm going to thank you. And then we're going to get toasted. Can you never say that again? That smells like an Elijah Craig product. It's like heavily caramel. Getting a lot of Heaven Hill notes. Thank getting you, a Brandon. lot of malt. Thank you, Brandon, for being the first person to say Heaven Hill in this video. And Heaven not John. Hill. <laughs> now, do you realize that this is actually the secondary grain is malted barley? So I there. Do now. Yeah. There's 78, 12, 10. 10% 10 rye. Huh. So, but that not much more. Yeah. No, but it 12, is it 10. is usually the malted barley is a far third grain, mm. but in Heaven Hill products it's not as much. You mm -hmm. taste it, right? I did, yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's just going. <laughs> no manners today. It's pretty consistent with it palate. It's really buttery. Nose. I don't really get buttery. I get like like pancakes. Like a sweetness and then like a breadiness. It is corny. Yep. <laughs> so are you sometimes. Oh, very often. It's super grainy. I don't... The, the caramel from the nose is not super even there necessarily. A little bit in the finish. Hmm. But it just tastes real like ready. I don't know. The second sip there's not a whole lot there's not, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of Elijah Craig Toasted. It's okay. It doesn't have any of, it's like not very sweet. It's very Spread. sweet it's on the nose, far. and then like yeah. the palate is not. There's not that caramel, there's not that like honey or syrup vibe that you got from the nose. It's got a lot of leather and tobacco on the back end, and that's actually what I'm getting like a lot of in the finish. It's very like savory, but almost too much so. Like it's not balanced because it's overly on those savory notes okay okay second ones which is the blue, blue note yeah. crossroads yeah. Okay. Yeah. cheers cheers we're gonna actually give some nosing Ooh. notes this time <clears throat> that's vanilla it's like a vanilla pound cake it's pretty I sweet i don't have a single element of that it i get a lot sweet. of vanilla i get a lot of sweet i don't i'm not getting cake Maybe some vanilla, but like, what do you get after the vanilla? Coffee notes and some like I've got like bitterness almost on the nose, like I don't know, acidic, not really fruity at all. It's not fruity. What about like toasted marshmallow? Sure, with a with a little bit of this of vanilla on top. How many of you have ever smelled a toasted marshmallow before you ate it? That's what I want to know. Smelled it? Well, I think you don't have a choice. You know what it's I mean. Like, like you toast okay. it, you smell it. You're no, like, oh. I don't. I, I, whiskey is really the only thing that I intentionally smell before consuming. The legs, it? yes. Yep. Legs on this look awesome. Yeah. I, I really like the nose. 
Ooh, that's nicer. A uh, lot of baking spices forward. Tons of chocolate. Yep. That's the coffee I think I was smelling. Okay. Uh, it's delicious. I will say that part. Mm. First sip, at least. Way better. Mm. Way better than the Elijah Craig. I love this. And the, the finish, too, right? There's some of those spices yeah. still yeah. there. And, but it's not, at 100 proof, it's not hot. Uh-uh. No. It's no, really but it nice. is. It's warm. That's yep. nice. It does have a, it, it is well proofed. So when I say hot, I mean like overly, yeah. like it's not, it's not hot for a hundred proof. It's really nice. There's no ethanol hit. It has a fantastic consistency. Like it's very oily coating. It's great. That's the evidence in the legs, which are great. Yep. Big fan. Still no like fruity notes necessarily to it. Mm-hmm. No. But uh, fairly consistent with the nose. I think the, a lot of the elements that I picked up on the nose, I'm getting on the finish and the palate. Really good. I like it. Yep. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. On to three. Yep. Three is New Lou Toasted. Yes, it is. One of my favorite whiskeys, although I did specifically choose not to bring the other pick that I have. I brought the Justin's House of Bourbon because I tend to like the R Bourbon selection. It was the first toasted pick they did. So what, you just year, so didn't yeah. want it to blow the others out of the water? Is that what it was? Well, well there's also more in this bottle. With, oh, okay. There's okay. also more. <laughs> I've shared tons of that bottle. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's fair. That <laughs> new look, we've, we've done. No more. Yeah. The rest is mine. <laughs> Although, I will say, no, I'm, I'm glad you, you did this because I don't think I've had anything out of this bottle yet. Okay. And I have had the other one. Okay. And so that might have biased me. I'm not like I remember anything, but that might have biased me a little bit. Okay. I'm not getting a super pleasant nose off of that one. It's a little bit fruitier. Fruitier and even like ethanol. This and is like, like some of the. This is well, like oakier too. It like is it. Yeah. sixteen proof more. Sixteen. Yes. Great. It's many proofs. That's eight percent alcohol by volume more. Okay. That's any other math facts that you want to give us today, John? Or no, is that it. it? All right. Thank you. This has been math with John. This has been math with John. The most boring segment of gentlemen and whiskey. <laughs> I hate math for you. This doesn't seem quite as oily either. Are your are your legs not where you want them to be? They're, they they don't man? seem as great. Use the crossroads. You mentioned legs, I think, the most. You know what? I, it's us. something like that I think is interesting, and I care a lot about the mouth feel. Yeah. Of, of a of enough. a whiskey for me, that's a part of the experience. Uh, I'm digging the nose on this. I'm gonna taste it. Cheers, guys. All right, cheers. Mm. That tastes like the other new loop. Wow, that's good. Um, it is a lot more strawberry than, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think some of the Twizzlers and like some of the like Mm -hmm. red berry notes. I'm not sure if this is their high rye or low rye MGP Nashville. Mm. So they have a 20% rye and a 36% rye. I'm getting bread, like, like kind of cakey notes, strawberry shortcake, like that kind of thing. I'm not going to say cherry or cream pie because you know what that happens to. See, this is not this is not as bready for me. This is like a lot more of that oak and like it tastes kind of charred and like the proof is there a lot more. I really like it though. This is hotter on the finish to me. Like as really? soon as you swallow, it is like just a pop of yep of heat. Yeah, it's good. It's though. really good. Yeah. It's also been opened a lot longer too. All right, last one. Yeah, the Penelope. Okay, go oh, ahead. cleanse first. Okay. Since these are okay. I'm gonna yeah. start. <laughs> All right, Nate, what you got? Behind the eight ball. Talk to me about the Penelope. Uh, kind of vaguely similar to the last one. Smell like whiskey? Uh, kind of not. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, it's funny that it's vaguely similar because they are both MGP. I'm getting sweetness, I'm getting fruit on this one, which I'm getting kind of like the caramel vanilla stuff and Mm -hmm. fruit together. So this is more like a, I don't know. Yeah, I'm getting really straight coffee. up whipped cream. Okay. Like, like, like a whipped cream latte. Like whipped cream on top of a latte. Whipped cream latte. Ooh. I get Nate. I'm with you on the vanilla. Yeah. It's really sweet. But I'm still getting some fruit. I'm still getting like, all right. Here goes the ping. I'm getting a little bit of banana. Hmm. Um. Okay. I, I'm not getting any banana. That's cool. I'm not getting a whole lot of charred notes either. Yeah, it doesn't. It's just kind of sweet. And just kind of sweet. Just kind of sweet. I'm gonna drink this. John was like gonna say something. <laughs> like, 
I'll just Doesn't drink. matter now. I'll just drink it. Uh, wow. A lot of red fruits. Yeah. Um, I'm getting raspberries and cherries and no banana. I'm not getting any of that, like, vanilla or much of the sweetness off of the nose. See, I think it's still sweet. I think it's really good. Uh, a little bit of, a little bit of spice, not baking spices, but, like, um... It doesn't have any of the char that, like, I feel like the, the okay. oaky charness, like, the, the new... I'm getting kind of tangy. I think that mixes in with the fruits, though. Like, yeah. like I get alternating, yeah, like, little bits of, like, oak, and then raspberry, and then oak, and then, like, really rye, rye notes. Because I get, usually if I have, like, red fruits off of something, it's a higher rye. Yeah. Usually, and that's for sure this. It's really fruity on the finish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of buttery on the nose, but then it's not on the palate. I know that you say that. Yeah. I'm going to have to start getting a butter counter in here. <laughs> Fitting for... Like, hey, man, it's it's mostly like, him. It smells like butter. It's I like do butter. say butter a lot, but maybe that's just because that's one of my brain's like top favorite flavors. I think that's yeah. just, just like you... equates things to butter, because yeah. it's like... You've enjoyed this. This must be butter. <laughs> You're from Lancaster County. Everything is butter. I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> it's whiskey, man. Oh, man. It should come in a plastic tub. No, it shouldn't. All right, guys. What do we think? I think what I have to say is going to upset a little bit. I like the Crossroads most. Really? Yeah. Okay. I think it was the closest to what I want out of a toasted bourbon. Mm, I think right. the rye notes of the 2MGP sourced are just too much. Hmm. Okay. Because I think that rye takes over. Whereas if I want a toasted bourbon, I want it to be sweeter. I want it to have like a balance of sweet and oak. And that was Crossroads for me. Okay. Cool. Nate, thoughts? Uh, I would say that the Blue Note was my f second favorite. That Nulu, I think, is going to come in at my top favorite. That Penelope is good, but there was just, I don't know, not a lot of like broadness to it mm. so the um, complexity isn't there yeah i think that i think that the new had that i think elijah craig uh could use maybe a little bit more intensity of like one or two flavors to really come into the mix on those but yeah i would say if i had to guess i would guess that the elijah craig is is finished for too long and okay. I would guess that the Nulu and Penelope are not finished long enough. No. What are they doing? And I would say that Blue Note is the Goldilocks zone. I think what's interesting is there's similarities and then there's also some big differences <clears throat> for me. So the Nulu probably is number one. I just really, I just like it. I don't know. The flavor profile is great. In the Crossroads, I love, like, that is like the, the, the baking spices or the spiciness was the most pronounced for me on the the palette for that which is like nice and it's different so the nulu and the crossroads are different the penelope i like a lot and i like it more than the elijah craig i'll be interested to see if the penelope changes as it opens up and well honestly the crossroads too two weeks give it three months see what happens i don't know man i in the two weeks since i've gave a first impressions on it it has changed drastically okay. so you think okay. it is opened up already yes like that's probably yes. the interesting that's its final form yep I will say this though, and this is like kind of historically, Brendan. You and I have also per, like tended to prefer MGP stuff more than John. You and I tend to lean toward it, but I think he tends to sometimes lean away. I oh, really man, our, our that our bourbon pick is one of my favorites. I've been a sucker for MGP lately. I would say in the last six months, the Elijah Craig. <laughs> probably won't buy another bottle of that it's a great bottle to take somewhere yeah. and share because people are like oh it's Elijah Craig what is this right. it's like yeah it's good and and it's approachable for people too that aren't big whiskey people right so it's not terrible it's just of these four my least favorite gotcha scores yeah let's let's get into scores so what do you guys give the Elijah Craig um I think in I think in all fairness and in relation to the others it's gonna be like a six for me uh I think I'm going five and a half mm-hmm so straight five? Straight five. I think Blue Note is going to probably come in at about a seven for me. Nice. John's I'm going to go 8.75. So he 8.75. It's really okay. close to a nine. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Wow. Okay, well, I don't feel bad saying eight then. Because I was like torn between 7.5 and eight. Okay. Brandon Nulu? Uh, 
Seven and a half. Interesting. And I'm probably going to be at an eight for that. Okay. And then Penelope, I think I'm going to say... That's tough. I would probably put that at about a 6.75, I think. Flat six. Oh, 7.5 for me. 7.5 okay. for sure. So that's interesting because that showed kind of the differences between all of our preferences and palettes. But yeah. Yeah, cool. So at 50 bucks, at 40 bucks, at... I don't know. It's anywhere between like 60 70. and 80 usually. Mm -hmm. And then this was 60. If you had to pick one up, which would you pick? The Nulu. If I could just have access to any of them, I'd pick the Crossroads because it's really tough to find around here. And you can get two Crossroads for what I paid for that Nulu, and I would do that <sighs> nine times out of ten. Yeah, but in PA availability, you know what I mean? Like, Nulu is probably more accessible Plus, to other states. I would buy three of them while I'm out of state. But I'm also one of that guy. Dead <laughs> right, serious. Right. Like, like for for ha being able to get twice what I can get with this new Lou, I yeah. I don't know. I I tend to lean more toward like I would rather have one bottle of something that I genuinely enjoy than three bottles of something that I somewhat enjoy. That's where I'm at. And since we obviously scored those differently, you are uh, buy all day on this one. I mean, that's yeah. really that's really high on a bottle score. Period for you. Yeah. 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 That's like a quarter point below Koi Hill. Which, which is nuts. Yeah, it's nuts. I Somewhere. loved it. Here's a link to our it. review of Koi Hill. This has been good. Uh, we have been toasted. But a little bit. Thank you for watching. Comment down below what you thought of any of these bottles or your other stuff. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Cheers. 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 I definitely thought you were saying bo cries, as in, like, emotionally cries. And I was like, bo doesn't cry? Like, Star Wars names! <laughs> <laughs>